This is all about making you interested in your community's history. By looking at the photographs dating back a hundred years, you should not only learn the history of places, but learn about the people that lived in your community. You will see pictures of the ordinary people that built your community who made Woodstock. Here we see three men who lived in Woodstock more than a hundred years ago, just as alive and full of life as you are today. Note the hitching post in front of them. That's where you tie up your horses more than a century ago in Woodstock. The trucks of a long time ago were horses and wagons. Gillingham store got their deliveries of molasses from this horse and wagon that drew a little crowd on Elm Street when it arrived. Old buildings remain, their uses change. Penny's store and Gillingham store became one store, Gillingham's. 1886 came the Aqueduct Company. See the hydrant. That's the year Gillingham's open. Men who worked at Gillingham's got together in 1910 to have their picture taken. That's my grandfather, Clarence Coffin, on the right. He always wore a tie to work, and he worked at Gillingham's, believe it or not, for 55 years. The railroad came to Woodstock right after the Civil War. F.H. Gillingham, who founded Gillingham's store, built a warehouse at the depot. That's his wagon on the right. Clarence Coffin, Gramp Coffin to me, delivered groceries for Gillingham's in this wagon. That's his horse, May. He took good care of May. Gillingham still delivers groceries around Woodstock. May knew her own way around town. She hardly needed Gramp. The view of Woodstock from the top of Mount Tom hasn't changed all that much. The trees on the right, that's where the park is. You can see the square, the circled area, that's Gillingham store. This is a farming community when you see it here. Dirt streets, the Mackenzie Fountain, modern cement sidewalks, and Wang Seng's Laundry, sizable Chinese population in 1899. The old men of the village sat in the sun on a bench along Central Street in front of the hardware store. I remember them well when I was a kid. There was a sizable black population at Woodstock and Mr. Parks was one of them. Progress came to Elm Street. Gone are the hitching posts. Look at the cars. They'll tell you that's the 50s. In fact, it's 1956 in front of Gillingham's store. That's the modern Gillingham store. It's changed, but you'd hardly know it. Anywhere around Woodstock, you could think it's a long time ago. Gillingham's Yes, it's changed, but you have to look hard. The nail and bolt bins were installed in Gillingham's in 1886. That's where the builders of the town got some of their materials. Gillingham's changes to keep up with the times, but it still looks much the same. There used to be other ways of business besides paying cash. This 1832 barter book shows that you could barter or trade for goods. Here we see a lady bought some eggs and butter and traded for spices, rice, tea, and other things.
Gillingham's bought this cash register in 1894 to ring up your purchases. Shopping was a lot different back then. You walked in the front door, told the clerk what you want, he or she went and got it, and you paid for it. Nineteen seventeen. Times are tough. America's gone to war. Hard to find help. Gillingham's ads contain war news and an appeal to help make deliveries easier and quicker. The key to keeping a business alive in Woodstock, anywhere else in America, is keeping up with the times. In 1936, Gillingham's added a paint room and an Otis elevator. Progress really came to Gillingham's in the 1960s. Gillingham's installed the first freezer for food. No more asking the clerk to get your orders. It was self-service. You went around the store with a basket if you wanted it and brought things to the checkout counter. Still, they were delivering all over town, not with a horse, but with a truck. Beautiful Woodstock became more and more famous in the 80s and the 90s. Uncle Bob Walker worked in the store for I don't know how many years. He had a part as an extra in the movie Ghost Story. G in Gillingham's has been a familiar symbol for the store for years. Back in the days before phones, if you wanted a home delivery, you put the Gillingham's G card in the window, and that meant you wanted a delivery from the store. So welcome to Gillingham. Come on in. I tell you, it looks, it smells like it did when I was a kid 50 or 60 years ago. And the floors creaked. They creaked when Robert Frost shopped here. Creaked under the feet of Grant Coffin, F.H. Gillingham, and Uncle Bob Walker. There's history here, everywhere in Gillingham's store, everywhere in Woodstock. Thank you.